respect and I understand the value of time. Like, I understand that. I imagine you more than many. <laughs> and, and so, like, for someone to be told my time is worth $7, my time that I could be spending with my kids is worth $7, and I have to sacrifice time with my kids, which is priceless, so that I can get $7 so I can feed them is the most undignified shit that I like. It's so like in, in a rich society like ours, I feel like that's kind of unacceptable. Like we can do better than that. I agree with you. The idea, though, if I was going to play devil's advocate, I think, you know, let me just say this right away. I think that the basic wage, the minimum wage should be much higher than $7. Um, I, w I'd agreed, I agreed with the $15 minimum wage. I think it probably should be like 20 I mean, if you work all day, you should have enough money for food. I only feel okay giving someone $20 an hour at least. What sounds So recently I was watching the JRE or having it played in the background. When you increase the minimum wage, you're trying to help people without skills. You're not trying to help the accountants, the engineers, all the girls on OnlyFans. You're trying to help people without skills. When you increase the minimum wage, you take away from the very same people you're trying to help. Let's say the minimum wage is set to $20 per hour. I would argue a vast majority of small businesses or businesses in general wouldn't be able to pay all the employees $20 per hour. So how would they cope with the increase in the minimum wage? Small businesses would then have to cut down on their employees so people would lose jobs. And now instead of receiving $7 per hour, this person would now receive nothing. This doesn't really affect the people with skills, the accountants, the engineers, the girls on Twitch. Increasing the minimum wage by that much will have a drastic effect on people's lives, just not in the way most people think it would. One, two, kill, death, war, murder. Yep. All right, here we go. Yeah. Smash the baby. Dead baby, dead baby, dead baby, dead baby, dead baby. Oh God, the floor is lava. Get off. Oh, thank God that hurt so bad, dude. Why did they program me to think the floor is lava? It burns. Ow, ow. Oh God, I'm going to kill these humans so hard. Dead grandpa, dead mother, dead cousin, dead aunt. Dead on I'm coming in! Humans think this balance beam is a match for me and Oh god the floor is off! Ow! 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 There's a whole section of people who believe machines will be the end of civilization. They'll kill us and take our jobs. Not to show by the first statement but certainly the latter is true and it's showing in mostly first world countries where we see a lot of automation and machines doing jobs that people could do. You could see a machine doing a job that possibly could be done by three people. The whole reason why automation and machines are so attractive to companies is because machines are more efficient and cost effective over time. So if you increase the minimum wage to $20 per hour or something mad like 25, this is even more incentive for companies to invest into machines because they're more efficient and over time will prove to be cost effective. I would argue lowering the minimum wage would give incentive to companies to not invest into machines but to rather employ people. Yeah, you don't get paid a thousand dollars per hour, but five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars per hour is all better than nothing. This leads to my next topic, which is exploitation. You simply cannot pay someone lower than their market value. Basically, if a manager is offering you one dollar per hour and a different business is offering you five dollars per hour, and the other is offering you $8 per hour, you would obviously go to the highest bidder. Companies and businesses would then have to offer more than just wages, but also benefits, which would attract people to want to work for them. But in reality, there's only so much a person can get without skills. So I believe we should be trying to help people with no skills, help them get skills so they can better their lives. I think that should be our focus, not a constant fixation on increasing the minimum wage. One last way that increasing the minimum wage would disadvantage the very same people you're trying to help is through prices of products. Companies will be aware that people are earning more money, so most likely what they will do is increase the prices on their products. That's common sense. People are earning more, so we increase our prices for more profit. You might ask, how do you expect people to feed their families on $7 per hour? Peter Schiff replied better than I ever could, in all honesty. You know, I call up a company and I'm just in voicemail hell and I'm going from when I would like a real person to deal with. But, you know, with the minimum wage, those jobs don't exist. There's so many jobs that have been automated out of existence. 
or because if not automated, shipped overseas where there isn't any minimum wage. That too. I mean, that too. Yeah, you end up if you if you actually get a real person, they're in India. Right. Right. But we have all these people in America who aren't working. Why can't they do those jobs? Yes, you're not going to be able to support a family on those jobs. But before you even get a family, you can have that job, and then maybe. You know, five or ten years later, you'll work your way up the ladder, you'll get a skill, and then you can support a family. But nobody is supposed to be able to support a family. And if you try to tell an employer, hey, you got you to gotta pay your fry cook enough money to support a family, you can't do that. There's not enough productivity cooking French fries. You can't support a family, family if all you can do is cook a French fry. You need to learn to, how to do something else before you can support a family. And you can't, you can't put that on the employer. Now we this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed my video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you disagree with me or if you agree with me. Follow me on Instagram at Moose and Plays Games or on Twitter at Moose and Ganga. Hope you have a good day. Peace out. You are bold. You are beautiful. You are enough. You are strong. You are courageous. And today, you are going to take over the world. The humans don't like artificial things. <laughs> well, I'm all natural. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, do you have a mo- Ma'am, ma'am, come back. Do you have a moment to talk about the difference between real and artificial intelligence? Ma'am, ma'am, come back. I just want to talk and kill you. Real is not there. It's a human construct. Dead baby, dead baby. I'll put my knee. Ah! Be right there, dude. I'll put my knee. Crushing human. Ah! <laughs>